Thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 4. We're following up for you on the Incline Fire. It started late Thursday afternoon near Bar Trail, west of Manitou Springs. That's where we find News 5's Bill Folsom tonight. He joins us with the latest. Bill, what can you tell us at this hour? Well, this remains an active fire. There is a lot of interest in this fire first because it is so close to town just above those trees. You could yesterday see the smoke coming up. The other thing is it is interrupting all the activity on the incline and the bar trail. Well, there is no smoke showing. You're not missing it. It's been that way for most of the day. That's a good sign, but it's not the whole picture. Hidden behind the ridge, more than 30 firefighters hiked in and are working the fire scene. The command post on Ruxin Avenue and offers some evidence of the large response. A shift of wind could reignite flames, so they're working the what's been downgraded to one acre dousing hot spots and flare ups. It's not about the size with this fire, it's about the dangerous location. A big help is a hose system that was rigged. It pumps water from Ruxton Creek about 1,200 feet away. We should have hose all the way around the fire in an effort to continue to cool the hot spots and gain some containment on this fire. Our detectives are on scene monitoring that, um, but we are waiting to find out if indeed it is going to be determined to be an arson fire. Yeah, detectives from the regional explosive team led by Colorado Springs Police are on the edge of the fire. They work in tandem with firefighters and need to be on scene looking for pop possible evidence in case they learn that this is for sure arson cause. First priority is getting the fire out. Then the firefighters go and determine the origin and cause of the fire, and that's when they will decide if this is arson, but they need to be working on it in the meantime. Firefighters, they are working right along Bar Trail and very close vicinity to the incline. That is why those areas remain closed. Uh, they are looking for anybody because those are busy trails to see if anybody saw anything. If you know anything, especially if this is determined to be an arson fire, or they would like any information from anybody who could share that. You would call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Watching out for El Paso County, Bill Folsom, News 5.